with Starlets. I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you want to join my Starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, I want to talk to you all about how to get fuller lips non-surgically. Lip fillers, I feel like, are all over the place now. I feel like every time I tune in to any kind of YouTuber, whether it be a beauty YouTuber or any other kind of YouTuber, they've either just gotten lip fillers or they've gotten something or whatever. I'm not against lip fillers. I just don't know if I would do it, partly because I'm terrified of needles, but that's another story. But I have kind of been a little obsessed with the lip area lately, and I have some new products that I've been using. I actually have a lot of lip products that I've been using lately. It's getting a little excessive. Like, my lip routine is getting, like, more involved than my face routine. But I have a lot of really cool products, and I also have a little giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to share with you kind of like my lip care routine. I'm not necessarily going to do like makeup products. I do have an older video on how to make your lips look fuller with makeup. But I might do an updated one. If you want to see that, thumbs up. I feel like everybody does like fuller lip makeup tutorials. I kind of want to focus more on like the skincare and the beauty tools I've been using. So if you want to see my lip care routine and how I get fuller lips non-surgically, then just keep watching. I'm going to start with my nighttime routine after I remove my makeup and cleanse my skin. I've actually added this trick. I believe I put this in a favorites video. It is the Bite Beauty Fruit Scrub and Whipped Cherry. I was totally against lip scrubs for the longest time. Thought they were a waste of money, thought they were a waste of time, and to be honest, I felt like just using a damp face cloth to exfoliate your lips was enough. I still believe that's true. I still believe you do not need a lip scrub, but I like this one. It smells yummy. After I rub this on my lips and then I rub it off with a damp face cloth, exfoliating my lips again with that, obviously. I do feel like my lips seem fuller and plumper. It could be my imagination, but I've been liking the way this feels, so I keep using it. After that, I top it with my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This was another thing I mentioned in a favorites video before. I didn't like it for the longest time. I thought it felt heavy and sticky. And then for some reason, when I combine it with like using it right after the lip scrub, all of a sudden I love it. I don't know what it is. It just, it, it won me over. I don't know. I don't know why. So I keep that on while I'm usually doing the rest of my skincare routine. And then when I'm actually done with like all of my multiple face products and serums and masks, oh my. I've actually started using the Dr. Brandt Needles No More 3D Lip Plump Fix Matte Lip Perfecting Serum. This product actually works. It's kind of like a cool, crazy packaging where there's like an AM and a PM and you have to set it to the AM and the PM. At night, I use the PM. You basically like pump it up, the product comes out the top, and then I just sort of apply this on my lips like when I'm done with my skincare routine. I believe the PM part is more like nourishing. And then usually like right before I go to sleep, I'll pop on my Lip Fusion XXL. I have a whole video, it's actually getting really popular, it's getting a lot of views lately, testing out a whole bunch of lip plumpers. This one, definitely my favorite. I use this at night and I use it during the day, I'll get to that in a minute, but like I feel like right before I go to bed, I'll pop this on my lips just before I go to sleep, just for a little extra plump and power. Now during the day, actually after I get out of the shower, I use this new product here. I mentioned this in a favorites video. This is the Juva Lips. I actually think I saw someone reviewing this on like some daytime talk show at one point, and I saw Tati review it. So I decided to give this a try. It's similar to those devices, you know, like those like things where you like put your lip in, and it was that whole like highly lit challenge and stuff. The thing about those that always kind of worried me is because I've seen a lot of people that would get a lot of bruising and have done serious damage to their faces. This one actually has like a continuous suction so you can't really like aggressively do anything really damaging to your lips. It's just like a gentle suction that stays consistent and I just, for me in my mind, it feels much safer. This basically runs, if I can... It runs for 30 seconds. According to the directions, you can get bruising in the beginning. I bruise super, super easily and I've never had a problem with bruising when it comes to this. You basically start out just doing it for 30 seconds. You just put it straight on and do it for 30 seconds and you get a nice little plump going. According to the directions, you can actually build up. I've built up to doing this 
for multiple rounds. One of the things it says in the instructions, which is really cool, is that you can actually kind of like, after you've used it a little bit and you've gotten used to it so that you know you're not gonna get any bruising, you know how your lips are gonna react, you can kind of shift it around in different places on your mouth depending on where you want fullness. Because some people, they have like a really thin lower lip and they want that to be plumped so you can kind of, you know, wear it down lower. I have more of a thinner upper lip so sometimes I like to sit it up higher on my lip. I also like to sometimes just do the sides because I have a really wide jawline and my lips are relatively narrow so I like to think it kind of pulls them out a little bit, makes my mouth a little bigger. I don't know if it really does that but it's not hurting me, so. I don't find it painful at all. It is a little bit of an odd sensation when you first use it, but after a while, I don't mind it. And I've actually, to be honest, gotten pretty good at using this while I'm like rubbing on a body lotion, like holding this with one hand and like rubbing on body lotion with another and like, you know, you can clean on your ears and put on a neck cream. I mean, I've just kind of gotten used to like doing this when I get out of the shower while I'm like doing other things. I don't really find that it takes up a lot more time in my routine, but you have to have a lot of coordination to do that. So if you don't have as much coordination, you might just want to sit there and hold it. I'm going to insert some clips of some like sort of before and after so you can kind of see what my lips look like before and after. When you first use it, especially if you use it quite as many times as I do, which I've built up to using it quite a bit, you're going to be like, oh my god, my lips are huge. They don't stay that way and they don't stay that way for very long. They do calm down. I find they calm down sometimes so much that I don't even really notice that I used it. But I have noticed over time, and I don't really have like a before I started using this clip, but like you can watch pretty much any of my lip swatches from like, you know, last year even, or yeah, from last year. And you'll see my lips, especially my upper lip, was a lot straighter, and now I feel like I have a little bit more of that like sexy curve in like the fullness to the lips, which I really enjoy. So while nobody's actually ever stopped me and been like, ooh, did you have your lips done? Like they look so great. When I look at myself in the mirror, and especially when I'm like putting on my lip product or anything or lining my lips, like I notice a pretty big difference. So I've really been loving this product. Then after I'm done with that, I will actually go back into my Dr. Brandt and I will apply the AM, which is a plumper. I didn't review this in my original lip plumper video because I don't even think this was out yet at that point. It's plumping, but it's very, very subtle. So if you are very sensitive to like the tingling, I might be immune to it at this point because I've used so many lip plumpers, but I don't, I find it to just be a slightly minty feeling. I don't find it to be all that strong. And it's a very, it's a very thin, very lightweight product. And then if I remember, <laughs> or if I'm just like really want my lips to be extra plump, I will pop on the Lip Fusion XXL again, usually when I start doing my makeup, so that by the time I get to my lip product at the end, I can sort of like blot it off and my lips will be extra, extra plump. And that is my lip routine. Yes, it is excessive, but I've really been into my lips lately and I've been loving them and feeling pretty good about them. Which is rare for me to really feel good about my lips. Normally I'm just sort of like, yeah, as long as they're not dry, it's fine. But I've been having a lip moment. So now on to the giveaway. The lovely people at Juva Lips actually sent me, because I already had this, and they contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to try this. And since I already had one, they agreed to send me another one so I could do a giveaway for you. The giveaway will of course only be for subscribers, so be sure you subscribe to my channel. But I will have a link and all the details to how to enter the giveaway in the description box below, so be sure you check that out. So you can get a Juva Lips and have sexy, plump, full lips. I was gonna say like me, but that sounds really arrogant. You'll have sexy, fuller lips, all I'm saying. So that's my lip routine. If you have any favorite lip products, products that you love, products that you hate, let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. I love your suggestions. If you have anything else you'd like me to test or review, or you'd like tips on any other facial area, body part, anything that you want beauty tips on, please let me know. Leave those in the comment section below too. I love your suggestions. They really do help me out and they really do help me come up with video ideas because I know what you guys want to see and I know what's helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back I was suffering from anxiety and depression and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life and I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. Links will all be in the description box below along with links to all 
all these products and links to the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.